And this is a live picture of the Marathon finish line on Boylston Street. The center of attention today as folks arrive in big numbers ahead of Monday's race. We're less than 36 hours away from that rolling start in Hopkinton as we all experience the first ever Boston Marathon in October. Good evening to you. I'm Ken McLeod. It might feel a bit different with the COVID restrictions, but it seems like everyone is making the adjustment. WBZ's Paul Burton spent the day talking to runners and spectators. The clock is ticking and the final countdown to Marathon Monday is underway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On Saturday, fanfare was busy with anxious runners buying gear and enjoying Boston in the fall. It's wonderful. Um, I love fall running. It's my favorite time of year. Hundreds of runners crowded the finish line to grab a snapshot of this historic race with their bibs in hand. The atmosphere was filled with energy. 2014 Boston Marathon champion Meb Keflesky took photos with runners. He says this city has touched his heart. I'm just blessed to be able to be part of that journey. And for me, 2014 was a magical moment. I was on this earth for a purpose to be inspiring people. And I feel, definitely feel it here. Right now, you know, just like everybody else, kind of enjoying the merchandise and stocking up a little bit to, you know, take some uh, swag home um, and enjoying. I saw Meb up there. Thousands of runners here at the finish line taking it all in, taking their selfies and photos with family and friends. Some on Monday will running for their personal best, others for personal causes. It's so exciting. I feel like it's really sinking in, like what we're about to do. Mary Gillis is a charity runner who's just $1,000 away from her $20,000 goal. I'm actually running for Minds Matter Boston. Um, it's for inner city kids that get paired with. Um, two-on-one mentoring and so it's like college prep. A pool of fewer runners and increased safety measures are in place, including a first of its kind marathon vaccine verification and testing tent. It definitely means a lot to the runners to be able to do it safely. Great to be able to, to leave it on the course and give it all I got. And that's all we can ask of all these runners. In Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.